I haven't done a video without any makeup on for quite some time so I thought it was about time that I just showed you a bit of an acne update and just spoke about something that's really helped my skin the past few weeks. You have heard the expression, well I'm sure you have, you are what you eat and I never really thought that applied to me. I thought my acne was completely hormone based and food had nothing to do with it except I was so totally wrong. Basically throughout the whole summer I let my hair down and I just decided to eat and drink whatever I fancied and I've never really slipped out of that so I was having quite rich luxurious um, food items which was obviously toxifying my body so the past few weeks I've been thinking right I need to get my butt in gear and really start getting healthy again because before summer I was super healthy and then over summer I deteriorated quite a lot and my fitness level has seriously decreased so that kind of upset me so I was like right I need to do something about this and the past two weeks I have been eating super duper healthy but super duper yummy food so I was completely satisfying my cravings because I was eating such rich sugary lovely product or food items obviously my body is so used to being topped up and energized by sugar um, which isn't very good so and the past week I have been feeling really lousy and not wanting to do anything just to be staying in bed to sit down and slouch the whole time honestly it's like a drug a drug addiction that you just need to wean yourself off and those were my symptoms being very tired and not very energized at all to do anything however i woke up yesterday morning and felt bright and breezy and thankfully i got over that period of needing sugar to fuel my body and instead my body has transitioned over to eating or being fueled and topped up on good for me products so like i say i've literally been cold turkey for the past week and not had any sugar at all um apart from two mince pies i mainly haven't had any chocolate because that was my big downfall and i work at a sports club where we sell chocolate and sweets um, very close to where I sit so that was always such a temptation I found that because I've had these cravings I've had to fight so hard to just calm them down and say no Amber you do not need this sugar and thankfully I found a amazing amazing thing that just completely cancels out that craving and it's peppermint tea it doesn't have any sweetness in it but it has such a strong lovely amazing taste it just you have a sip and then you forget all about it it seriously is just an amazing tea and it's very detoxifying and obviously it is water so, so it counts as part of your water intake for the day so you know that's good because you need to have a lot of water to detox yourself and that's what I've mainly done and because I've been eating super healthy I have noticed a dramatic improvement in my skin and my skin is the first day that I've woken up from just a week woken up with smooth skin and that's just like amazing for me I know in the summer I did have smooth skin but as soon as my skin stopped seeing that sun I saw spots coming back um, and I didn't really know what to do so I just tried loads of products um, which I have mentioned in my previous video products are work for spots and yes they work amazingly and I think that has contributed to my skin but also the fact that I've eaten healthily um, there are ways of making fruit and veg nice tasting or just generally healthy things my diet this week has been 
no orange juice well no orange juice for I think I've had it for three weeks now and I just love orange juice so it was so hard for me to be like no amber step back from the orange juice um, so I've not been having any orange juice for the past three weeks also I've not been eating much wheat yeah. I am fairly lenient to that whole wheat gluten free business and then finally like I say I've just not been eating sweets the obviously the sweets and the sugar inside those kind of products are super bad for your insides and it really really confuses your bloodstream and sometimes obviously you need it if you're um if it's a medical condition obviously you're gonna need that to just keep your life so please do keep on the sugar even if you do have acne if you have diabetes but if it is just purely acne and you're trying to get rid of it i would suggest that you try and stay off the three things that i've mentioned they've seriously dramatically improved my skin and i guarantee that something you are eating is affecting your skin so it may take a while um, to figure out just what ticks your skin off um, but other than that I hope this has helped you it's maybe given you a little food for thought um, and there are some great food channels out there which incorporate fruit and veg and all things healthy and yeah at the same time it's super duper yummy so you should not be at a loss for trying to find an alternative to what you already eat if you eat mcdonald's or whatever um that's another thing i never eat fast food or fizzy drinks just saying mm. so give healthy eating a shot just for a month to see if it helps your skin and <clears throat> if it does then brilliant and if it doesn't then just keep trying because maybe you're eating still the thing that makes your skin a bit agitated but keep going with your acne and i'll see you very soon bye